Welcome back to Monster Rancher Advance 2. I just got done sending David off to attempt to get another attack, in which he resoundingly failed, because of course he did. And now this stranger has come a-knocking. Anyone home? Who is it? I'm Gavin, freelance trainer. This is a ranch, right? Sorry, but can we rest here a while? My monsters grew weak while on our journey. Well, guess not, eh? Oh no, it's just that this nasty named Canute was just by, and I wanted to be careful. We have room, so we can let them stay, Snack. Thank you so much, truly. We owe you one. Nah, people should help each other, right? Well, generally, yes. David is tired. And we're back to it. How are your monsters, Gavin? Thanks for asking. They're taking a rest. Oh, good. Didn't you guys do some training earlier? Of course. Why? I had a little peek. That's awful. You had no right. Just wait a sec. I'm a freelance pro trainer, you see? And... Why not hire me and my monsters? Huh? Your training and your coaches aren't bad. But they just aren't enough. My monsters are some of the very best coaches. That's a lie. You let us spend the night here, so let us repay you by helping you out. It's nice of you to offer, but I'm afraid we... No, really, I'm not asking for any deposit right now. You want to take down that Canute fellow, right? You can pay me back when you renew our contracts. How did you know we wanted to beat Canute? I can see it in your eyes. Well, what do you think? We'd make a great team. Just leave it all up to us, okay? How pushy. If it's free, sure. Right, Snack? And go to Agima and assign us as new coaches. You gotta put us officially in charge of certain training so it'll count. It's a weird hang-up the system has, but he's not incorrect. Plus, we can do a little negotiation if we need to. So, we get two free coaches in the way of Hollies and Gavins. No, no, I don't want to register David. Poor guy would catch fire if I asked him to do something that complex. You make coaching contracts with the Game of Monsters. Whoops, I think I spoke to the wrong thing. Yes, yes, we know this already. As you see, there, some of them are better than others. Like, this guy has, like, crazy good uh, intelligence. I don't really ever worry about it, though. Alright, charge. That's the one I'm looking for. Now, you see... Masamaro is a, an all-rounder. Strong, well, he's... he's strong. <laughs> he has three stats worth of note. So, seems really suited to this training. Yes, that is the point. Uh, I believe accuracy is actually not one of his better stats, so I'm gonna leave Masamaro in charge of that. I'm just kind of trying to fill out the roster for now, and I can be, you know... I can skip out of the beggars phase at a later date. Just to get better results. Speed, accuracy. The problem with any accuracy as badly as I do means that, uh... Neither of my coaches is really all that amazing. I have any oh, I have a couple more openings left. Um put Massimaro on this one. And I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna be able to do for now. I think it'd be worth a change. Probably not worth it. It's like minus 50% on one and then like plus 25% on the other. For now, I'll stuff Masamaro over. Oh, that's all his coach points. Yes, yes, yes. Done, done, done. All finished. I'm not going to worry too much about the bureaucracy of the situation, but I am going to make one quick pit stop. And nothing yet. We'll get to that when we get to that, I guess. And now, we have Strong as one of our coaches. He 
Yeah, this would be a good uh, demonstration. Whoa! David's trying to make up for lost time, I guess. Not bad. David got a new trait. Way to go, David. Great job. Way to go. Okay, I'll praise you. But let's see what that trait was. I'm curious now. Up Earth. How specific. I don't know if Harris have any Earth affinity moves. That's more of a Mogi thing. Anyway, I'm gonna jump ahead, and I'll see you guys when something relevant happens. Hey, are Snack and Holly here? What is it? You're the amazing rookies that everyone's been talking about. What? <laughs> I guarantee you, sir, literally no one's been calling us that. The ones that fought that wandering rogue breeder? You mean Canute? Who cares about his name? All I want to know is... What? Why can't I be the one everyone is calling the amazing rookie? I'm perfect for it! What? I'm a hunter. I plan on being Aja's number one breeder someday. I'm supposed to be the next up-and-comer. You snatched that away from me! We don't know what you're talking about. Holly, right? Didn't you used to be a famous breeder? I bet you helped Snet get a leg up. No. No, I guarantee you that's not happening. But everybody just loves you. Excuse me? Snet has plenty of talent without me. I don't know, I haven't really been showing that this Let's Play, have I? Get real. Ha. <laughs> It's not funny! Ah, oh, look how arrogant he is! It is funny! As if you should talk. What's with all these pushy people lately? Don't you think it's strange, Snack? Ha! <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. I came for one thing only. I want to see if you're as great as they say. Yeah, yeah. How do you plan on doing that? With a battle. Figures. Well, should we fight him? Whatever. Who cares? What happens, happens. And on the upside, that's a very low hit percentage on his side, so, like, that's cool. I wonder if David has finally put it together, the, the association with negative consequences for not dodging. Like, his entire life up to this point was just one huge lesson in negative reinforcement. What happens when it stops hurting? I'm sorry, I really shouldn't pick on my own monster. I'm really supposed to be his biggest advocate, but... I mean, I'm just saying... On a 10%? Really? That's it. I'm just going machine gun mode here. I don't even care. Yeah, I punched you when the clock was out. What you gonna do about it? Well, well. I believe I've seen enough for the time being. The official championship will reveal your true skill. Snack, I expect you to enter the official ranked D championship. Yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. As long as I like to lose, right, Snack? Ooh, he's finally gone. He sure was full of himself. Yeah, but you can't just take him lightly. He talks big to pump himself up a bit. Yeah, we better be ready for that tournament. Snack, let's give the official D rank our all. I wasn't planning on doing anything less. And I guess I'll see you guys when I see you next. Hey, anybody home? What is it, Gavin? I just saw a shady old guy behind the shed. I grabbed him. What should I do with him? So, what kind of guy was this? This kind? Oh my goodness! Hello. What's going on? Mr. Carnab! You know him? Know him? He's the Fimba chairman! You don't say. I told you you were making a mistake! I'm so sorry. Snack, let me introduce you to Mr. Carnap. He's the head of FIMBA, my former organization. 
Like Mr. Marduk of Agima? More or less. So, why is this Mr. Nakbar here? <laughs> Napcar. <laughs> I managed to mess up his messing it up. Beautiful. It's Carnap. Just wanted to see how Holly was doing here. As I approached, a certain plant caught my eye. I took a closer look, and this is what happened. I'm sorry, that was really rude. You look well. How do you like being an assistant? Very much, thanks. Snack and I work wonderfully together. We work great. The monster, not so much. By the way, what brings you out here? Work, in a way. Gulp. What's the matter? Well, I have a favor to ask. I'll tell you straight off, I won't go. <laughs> Exploring. Ah, oh, come on, it's nothing dangerous. Hmm, I wonder. What are you afraid of, Holly? Maybe I'll tell you someday. So, where is this exploration? To Pata. They've already done some digging. It's safe enough for a child. Will you tell me the conditions? Will we start straight away? No, actually, they aren't that strict. I'll wait until we all have time. I got permission from Agima to go, so we can head to Depata any time. Maybe a few stray monsters, but at your level they should pose no real threat. Just sign up at Agima and I'll be the guide. And like before, any items we get are yours. But if you fail, it'll all come to nothing. What do you think? Not bad, huh? It sounds too good to be true. Holly, that's how we've always done this. <laughs> For me, research comes first, then treasure. Okay, we'll head to Depata, but only when Snek feels like it. It's settled. We'll go when you're ready. You can register at Agima at any time. Thank you. See you later. Holly, why would a Fimba bigwig like him run around digging holes? Don't ask me. I have no idea. According to Monster Rancher 4, insatiable wanderlust. He gets to go all over the world. Hmm. Well, it should be fun anyway. I sure do hope so. That's the official Agima Championship. That's great. We're not participating yet. Now, as a fun aside, one of the things that Advance and Advance 2 did, well, rather, Advance 2 did, because Advance 1 didn't have expeditions, Advance 2 makes it so you can go on the expedition when you're good and ready for it. You're not forced to play by anyone else's timetable, you just go, you pay a small fee, and you hit the road running. And honestly, it's one of the things that I love about the, adv the Advance games, and Advance 2 in particular, as said. And we will get to that. Um... Our buddy here is not the best expedition monster in the world, but he could get us started, and there's one or two small things we can probably knock off the list. But we'll see that when we see that. I'll catch up with you guys when the next event happens, which obviously this early in the game is going to be a lot because there's a lot of setting up to do. So expect more random non-sequitur events for a little bit longer. Alright, we're back. And even though I literally cannot get any... I I've had David fight a few tournaments, and he actually managed to win! So that's a good sign. The problem is, he's not learning new attacks. Every time I go to sparring, they say it's highly unlikely that he'll learn a new attack in everything, and I've used both these attacks a lot. Even though Muha is, for all intents and purposes, worthless. I do not know if this particular hair is bugged or something, but... I literally just have to hope I don't get hit. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Hi everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome one and all. The official Agima Rank D Championship is about to begin. It's an exciting match of strong young monsters. Who will be the monster to win and move higher? The second hurdle, the Agima official D will now begin! So you've come. You're not exactly quaking in your boots. It has nothing to do with you. We'll do this at our own pace. We'll settle this like we promised. That's right, this tournament will decide things once and for all. Snick, no losing unless it's to me. Yeah, with this monster I can't promise you that. Same goes for you. Man, now I'm starting to feel competitive. I kinda like it. <laughs> I like Gavin a lot. First enemy is gonna be a golem. You know, if I had literally any other monster in the sun, my stats would be godly for the D tier. Maybe I should have continued my pattern of raising nothing but tanks. Oh dear. That one's pretty accurate for, you know, a golem. Yep, I'm just gonna play like a chicken. 
I don't have to explain myself to anyone but myself. Actually, maybe I can turn this attack into something useful after all. It doesn't need to do damage, it just needs to stop my enemy from being able to attack. Yep. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the Gut Sapper now. I will become that which I hate in order to win. I think this is like my start of a villain arc. I played Blue in Magic the Gathering. I know how to stop other people from playing the game. I'll do it right now. Why? Spite. L literally, exclusively, purely spite. Yeah, I think I'm turning into a villain, you guys. David has brought me to this. Next up is Agito, which I believe means Fang, and it's an Antland. I actually really, really like Antlands, uh, but they didn't show up in the series till the advanced games, so I haven't really been able to talk about them much up till now. I don't remember which of those attacks has lower accuracy. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> he has pretty good accuracy no matter what. If I can coax him into using that attack, I might. Provided, you know, I don't just get bisected, I could just... That's it. That's the ticket. Ah, no. On the upside, let's see it uses my attack stats for countering, which I don't think is how it works in Monster Rancher 4. I actually think they changed that later on. It means I do need to actually do some damage now. I mean, not a great deal, but a few bops ought to do it. I might just be able to run down the clock at this point. Hold on. Oh, that's like that super version of guard, right? Well, yep, I'm just a terrible gut-stealing gut staller now. It's literally my least favorite way of playing the game, but... This is, wh this is who I am now. I'm out of the edge now. It's a pixie slash galley. Oh wow, she's just coming out of the gate swinging. Yay, David, you had presence of mind to dodge. I'm... Like, you're, you're developing common sense. I'm so happy. Now we just gotta stop her from playing the rest of the match. Yeah, she, she gains guts so fast, but I mean, that's pixies for you, so... I can't say anything about this is particularly surprising. There was always a lot of contention in the Monster Rancher fandom as to which was better, the ones where your guts and timer don't continue moving while attacks are being animated, and those that like the fact that that happens in some games. I'm not sure how I feel. I'll be honest, I kind of like both for different reasons. Because, like, in one, you can kind of run down the clock and, and play a little more defensively, I guess, in that respect. But then... I was like, I swear if a slap ends up ruining this for me, I, just, I don't even know what I'll do. Um, but I also see a lot of, like, oh, if the timer pauses, then you, you don't have, like, downtime, and you can't do these gut steal stall strategies that I'm doing now. So I, I think there's merit to both sides of the argument, especially as the Advanced, uh, Advanced 2 introduces the uh, Death Blow tournaments, which have no timer. You have to knock your opponent out, so stall strategies will just never work there. I actually like those tournaments a lot. I'm gonna see if I can't do a few of those. Well, that was lucky. Give him a quick, quick bop on the head. You made that much worse for yourself than it needed to be. Come on, if I can gut sap him. Wow. Wow. Why is just everyone suddenly getting super lucky on their uh, counters? That happened on one of my uh, off-screen tournaments as well. Nah, I'm gonna try anyway, I'm at the 10 second mark. 
damage. That wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. Well, that could be bad. I think I still won, but, like, barely. Yeah. So, by the way, this is considered a rival battle. Uh, the rival will literally never lose under any conditions. So, you have to have a straight win record. This is actually something that the advanced game started, and Monster Rancher DS took way, way, way too far. Um, it's actually one of my least favorite mechanics, because it doesn't feel authentic. It's kind of the same issue I had with the Canute battle, except applied across a much larger and much more annoying scale. Now, the difference is, in Advance 2, when you beat a rival, they just move on, and the story continues, and you don't have to see them every time you enter that ranked tournament. In Monster Rancher DS, they're there forever, and you just have to deal with them. At least in Monster Rancher 3, they had the chance of losing and becoming a non-factor, which was much more organic, I think. Now, last we fight, Hunter. Come on, then, show me what you're made of. Sonic heroes. I don't think his stats have improved at all since we fought last. I'm gonna wait for him to attack, and then I'm gonna... ...bring to bear my counter. Man, he's really on the offensive. See, David, this is what a normal monster does, is, like, trying not to get hit. It's a, it's a very in-depth strategy. It requires a lot of uh, concentration. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it, so good on you. Yeah, I saw <laughs> in the comment section uh, Sir Wookie mentioned how I ended up inadvertently naming my monster his actual name, and uh, I was like, whoops, didn't mean to do that. It's like... I should stick to naming them weird, eclectic pop band names, or like how I was naming a Slash and Lance, so that it couldn't happen. But like, I gave him a generic ma male name, so now everyone named David in the world like reacts every time I call out to my monster. David wins the match against all odds. He actually did pretty well this time. Blast! I lost. You're pretty good. Is it? Does anyone else kind of hear, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog voice coming out of him? Is it just, like, the slick back, spiky hair? Is that just me? You guys let me know what you think in the comments. David wins the tournament! Yay! I can finally stop trash-talking my own monster. <laughs> Here are the results of the tournament. Surprise money for the tournament. Think David's popularity has changed? Good, picking up popularity. Go, David, go. I see, now I truly understand you. Satisfied? Yeah, but you'd better prepare yourselves next time. Yeah, he gets a forced loss battle. I'm gonna be zooming way past you in rank. Start slacking off and I'll be on your tail. Okay, I'll be waiting. See ya. I don't think we've seen the last of him. Oh, so what? I think he'll be a good rival for Snack. He's tough to beat, that's for sure. Let's keep playing to win, Snack. David improved. Ah, good. Good stats to improve this time. Yeah, that requires praising, even if you're a spoiled little sack of potatoes. Speaking of, it's time to feed. There you go. Hello, it's Ayase. Here's some mail from Agima. Yes? Oh, what is it? Snack, we won that tournament, so they sent us a certificate. We won in rank D, so now we're breeder level 2. Wow, congratulations. We made it to rank C, Snack. Our breeder level is now two. An age reaching rank C is a great accomplishment. Now you're a proven full-fledged breeder. Don't slack off, there are still lots of stronger guys to meet on the way up. Yeah, but let's just enjoy this honor for now. Keep up the good work. That reminds me. Do you know about the special league tournament that accepts rank C monsters? Special league tournament? Monsters can only join it after winning some qualifying tournaments, though. This big league tournament is called the Death Blow. Oh, I was just talking about that. The death blow. The fight goes on till someone is KO'd. It's one of the more popular tournaments. I imagine so. Till there's a KO, so you can't run away. Yeah, it's a real power game. I love it. There are separate tournaments for ranks A, B, and C. How do you get to enter the death blow? You have to win some qualifying tournaments. For rank C, those tournaments are... Summer Classic, Wild Cup, The Countdown, Flower Cup. You have to win twice at these meets. Then you should get a written invitation to the death blow. 
Death Law House sounds really awesome, doesn't it? I'll see if I can get around to showing that or not. Snack Kali! Wow, everyone's just coming to my ranch now. It's Aroma. Here I am again. Shouldn't you be at your ranch? Well, we're doing some major cleaning today. So what are you doing here? I slipped out. Uh-oh, won't that make Zest mad? Don't sweat it, he got some mighty backup. Wow, who, some big strong ox of a guy? Ayase, she was off today, so I had her come. What? Was well, she so helpless, and you asked someone to help you and then ran away? I don't know. Well, I've got this little plot going, you see. I didn't want to be there in the way. Huh? Anyway, Snack, Holly, have you heard about soulmates? Uh, I'll pretend like I haven't for your benefit. Soulmates. <laughs> Holly. Solo mates. Yeah, you, we can tell you're doing that on purpose. Well, Snack, any clue? Time's up. Hmm? It's a way to have two monsters interact. You don't know it, but it's the latest fad. Oh, I see. Since when? Agima discovered it two days ago. Um, I'm starting to lose patience. <laughs> oh, oh, the funny lady is losing patience now. Is that how it is? About this interaction. When two monsters interact on a psychic level, and depending on how well they get along, they can gain new skills from each other. New skills? A monster's feelings remain with the other as psychic energy. The monster can choose to make the energy real. You can use it in battle like a skill. Neat, huh? Sure is, if it's true. The strain is substantial, so you can't use it over and over, I guess, but... Once per battle? More like once per tournament. You really have to plan for it. By the way, using soulmate moves outside the arena is prohibited. I don't know why, but that's what Agima decided. I'm not sure why they decided that. That's just a thing, I guess. Now, shall we try a little experiment? I brought one of my monsters. A soulmate experiment. We still have to see it for ourselves, no? Can we do it? Well, let's just find out. This is a system that was part of the way they implemented uh, link cable connectivity. So two players could have their monsters try to become friends. And there's also some wild monsters who have a chance of having it happen as well. Yeah, let's give it a try. First we enter a battle. Huh? You have to be in a battle? Yep, first they have to size each other up. Well, there are exceptions. Is a way to do it without a battle? Yes, by linking. But we can't do that. Find a friend next so we can... <laughs> hey, I have friends! Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of friendless loser. Oh well, here comes the fight, David. Here we go! Oh, you have extra attacks. Okay, I see how this is. Yeah, that's a good reaction. David has the right of it. All you do is come to my ranch and assault me while I'm trying to raise my monster. You run out because of your ridiculous shonen anime tropes trying to hook your brother up with your male lady. Aroma, you're kind of terrible. I'm just going to be honest. It's like j legit terrible kind of thing here. Wow, managed a knockout. Way to go, David. Yeah, looks like they're getting along. Well, I guess after boxing like that. Remember, monsters don't talk, so they'd probably communicate in some kind of hair fashion. Success. And now they're soulmates. Thank goodness. To be able to use it, you just need to set it like you would a skill on the skill screen. Skill patterns vary depending on soulmate. There are attack skills, defense skills, healing skills. Does it ever not go well? I'm not sure, but maybe it doesn't work if they don't get along. Monsters you meet on the battlefield are no good either. Maybe their mental defenses are too strong. Yeah, maybe, but our experiment worked! Hooray! So I um, guess I'll be going. My brother's gonna be mad. He... What are you laughing about, anyway? It's a secret. See you later! What a weirdo. Don't you agree, Snack? 
Wholeheartedly, Holly. Wholeheartedly. David seems to be tired. Well, I think that's going to do it for this week. We made some pretty good progress. If anything really interesting comes up, I'll append it to the end, but otherwise I'll see you guys next week.